Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the five easiest and the five hardest medical schools, MD schools specifically, to get into. Before we get started, as always, make sure to go down and hit that like button. And if this video adds any value to your life at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos as often as I can. These schools are based on, yes, GPA and MCAT, but mostly the acceptance rates and the percentage of students that these schools accept. So the top five hardest MD schools, their acceptance rates are extremely, extremely low. And vice versa, the top five easiest schools that I have on this list have just a really high acceptance rate. So from one to five on the list, some GPAs might be a little higher than others but an easier school to get into or there might be a school or two that has a higher average matriculating GPA on the top five easiest list but like I said that's just because they have such high acceptance rates okay so let's jump right into the top five hardest MD medical schools to get into in the United States so the hardest MD medical school to get into in the United States and it's not surprising but it's Harvard Medical School their average matriculating GPA and MCAT score for last year was a 3.9 and a 5.20. The second hardest MD medical school to get into in the United States was Stanford University School of Medicine. Their average GPA and MCAT score was a 3.9 and a 5.18. The third hardest MD medical school to get into in the United States was John Hopkins University School of Medicine. Their average matriculating GPA was a 3.94 and an average MCAT of 5.21. This is what I was talking about earlier. Even though they do accept a higher average GPA and a higher average MCAT than let's say Harvard, Harvard is still harder to get into just because their acceptance rate is still lower than John Hopkins. Okay guys, so the fourth hardest MD medical school to get into is gonna be the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine. The average GPA and MCAT score for this school was a 3.87 GPA and a 5.18 for the MCAT. Okay guys, so the fifth hardest MD medical school to get into is Mayo Clinic. Alex School of Medicine. Average GPA and MCAT score for this medical school is a 3.94 and a 521 on the MCAT. Okay guys, let's jump right into the top five easiest MD medical schools to get into in the United States. So the first one on this list, I was actually very surprised by this acceptance rate, but it is the University of Mississippi Medical Center. This medical school has an average GPA and MCAT score of a 3.7 and a 504 MCAT. All right guys, the second easiest MD medical school to get into is Mercer University School of Medicine. This medical school has an average GPA of 3.66 and a 504 on the MCAT. Jumping into the third easiest MD medical school to get into in the United States is the University of North Dakota School of Medicine medicine and health sciences. The average matriculating GPA was a 3.8 and average MCAT score was a 507. Like I said before, the reason it made this list is because the acceptance rate is just much higher than most medical schools. All right guys, so the fourth easiest MD medical school to get into is the Ponce School of Medicine and Health Sciences. The average GPA and MCAT score for this medical school was a 3.5 and an MCAT score of a 499. All right guys, so the fifth and last school on this list is the East Carolina Brody School of Medicine. This MD medical school has an average GPA of a 3.58 and an average MCAT score of a 507. All right guys, so that was my top five hardest MD medical schools to get into and my top five easiest MD medical schools to get into. Hopefully this video was able to equip you guys with a little bit more knowledge to see which schools might be right for you. As always, make sure to go down and hit that like button and if that video was helpful at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos as often as I can. See you guys next time.